Well, Michelle, as you said, I spent the day talking to the suppliers who used to call General Motors one of their biggest customers. Now, for some, the words used to are ironically now their saving grace. They tell me that's what's helping them survive this, the fact that GM already left the Dayton area. And this gets mounted in the machine and spins. Dayton Supply and Tool provides manufacturers with the supplies they need to get the job done, from small part cutters to two-wheeled carts. The family-owned company has been here in the Miami Valley for more than 70 years and employs about 35 people here. At one time, Delphi and General Motors were two of the company's best customers. But President Jerry Cronenberger says that relationship has deteriorated over time. They don't have much of a presence in Dayton anymore, so we don't do a lot of business with them. He says his company might feel a trickle-down effect from its customers that also do business with General Motors. But he says, thankfully, the big hits from GM are over. I think, you know, a lot of the pain has already happened uh, in previous years. We will survive. We can survive. It was probably a uh, more of a hardship when Delphi fi filed bankruptcy, but we positioned ourselves uh, to displace that business and, and go after other markets. The company's vision for the changing market is probably what's saving it from going the same way as GM. We've planned for it and we kind of saw some things coming, so we've tried to transition ourselves away from the GM business. Well, Cronenberger says his company now focuses on growing markets like medical equipment, energy, and aerospace manufacturing. And he says many people don't realize it, but there are plenty of small to medium-sized manufacturing plants doing very well right here in Dayton. And his company is definitely taking advantage of that. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.